station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. From science experiments and in-flight maintenance, the crew on board the space station has been hard at work this week. JAXA astronaut Aki Hoshide donned a biomonitor earlier this week to be a participant in the Canadian Space Agency's vascular aging study. The biomonitor is a wearable technology system designed to look and feel as comfortable as a typical snug t-shirt. But in reality, it is actually monitoring the wearer's heart rate, activity level, and breathing rate. The data gathered from the biomonitor, along with data from ultrasounds and blood tests, will be sent back to researchers as part of the vascular aging experiment, which is the third of a series of scientific experiments that studies the effects of weightlessness on astronauts' blood vessels and hearts on board the International Space Station. The vascular aging study is looking at issues known to pose risks to astronauts' health, like radiation and insulin resistance. Studying the responses of the cardiovascular system in space better equips us to understand how our arteries age here on Earth. On Monday, NASA announced the fourth and final member for the upcoming NASA SpaceX Crew-3 mission to the ISS. NASA astronaut Caleb Barron was selected to serve as a mission specialist for the Crew-3 mission, which is targeted to launch as early as October 23rd. Barron will be joining crew members, NASA astronauts Raja Chari and Tom Marshburn as the mission's commander and pilot, respectively, and European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Maurer, who will also serve as a mission specialist. This will be the first space flight for Barron who became a NASA astronaut in January 2020 after completing two years of training. This week's question comes from Ashlyn, a fifth grader from New York, who wanted to know what happens to garbage on the ISS? That is a great question. There is no trash pickup in space, which means that the crew has to store their trash in special bags called jettison stowage bags. After a cargo vehicle arrives at the station, the crew will load it with all of their trash bags, foam cushions, and other items to be removed. These vehicles will depart filled with thousands of pounds of disposable items, ultimately burning up in the atmosphere during re-entry. The NanoRacks Bishop Airlock, which was recently installed on station, also has the ability to jettison trash right from the orbiting lab to be burned up in the atmosphere. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.